Garth Brooks. Friends in low places. It may depend on how old you are, actually, but Friends in Low Places is the one that a lot of people know. Maybe coming out of retirement, could he be making a visit in Kansas City? You'll get, finally get to legally download his music online at the very least. Garth made that announcement this morning. He's also uh, inked a new deal with Sony Music, so we'll get a new album too. This is a big deal for fans. No word yet on when his world tour is kicking off or whether he'll be stopping here. But he is my friend from a very low place. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what we drowned our sorrows in. And you'll be able to download all of his music on his website in about four days. So we're talking country music. A lot of country music fans excited about the possibility that Garth Brooks could be coming out of retirement. We are the epitome of country music here, clearly. I'm going to let our segment producer talk about <laughs> why Kansas City, specifically in this area, is the epitome. Kat Boutwell. <laughs> I am interested to hear what you have to say. Well, there's this... Uh blog. It's a stately blog. It's okay. a web website. They put together these crazy lists all the time, but they put this one together of where life is most like a country song in Missouri and Kansas. <laughs> top 10, Missouri is number three. And it's, it's actually based on all real like data. So like, for like example, what? for example, my baby done left me. You know, that's a common theme in country music. That's based on the number of people divorced in every oh. state. You know, a number of dirt roads, how many people buy, uh, have pickup trucks and that sort of thing. So, you know, based on all of that data, Missouri's number three, Kansas number six. And interesting enough, Kansas has the most dirt roads in the in the entire country, apparently. I <laughs> According believe to the, it. This. As a girl who grew up in Kansas, yep. I believe it. There's and also a lot of cowboy and cowgirls here, so if you're into that, there you go. You can find a cowboy or cowgirl. <laughs> all so, right. Yeah, well, that's, that's I can understand this. You know, Gary, you may not know this, <laughs> but he owns a really sweet pair of cowboy boots. Oh, I bet he does. And I remember, <laughs> this is from when you emceed an event. We were both there together, and you looked good in a cowboy hat, Gary. I can get a little country. I mean, it, it definitely. <laughs> a little bit country. Yeah. All right, Gary. I'd love to hear more. Now we're, now we're doing, uh, what, what is that? The, the um, come on. I from, can't help you. I don't know what you're saying. I'm a little bit country, I'm a little bit rock and roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did a good job. The Osmonds. Okay, the Osmonds. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we, 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 we Yeah. All right. Donnie.